Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with my most anticipated haul of this time of year. <laughs> and it is my Dessa's haul. Now, if you guys have scrolled through my videos or seen my videos for the last almost two years I've been making them, you know that I have not bought from Dessa's in, I think it's been a year now. It was September of last year. Um, I kind of got turned off by, it's not that I got turned off by the pre-order only um, scenario. It's that when she had pre-orders open, I didn't have the money to buy. Um, back when PayPal used to do pay after delivery, because my husband gets paid every other week. So when pay after delivery was happening, I would be able to order from the vendors and then by the time it would withdraw from my bank, my husband would have gotten paid because usually I would only use pay after delivery on the off weeks. And having that extra 10 to 14 days helped because usually the restocks were like Thursday or Friday and my husband would get paid seven days later. <clears throat> so it came in handy. When PayPal stopped doing pay after delivery, it got harder, which was good for me because I had no self-control when it came to buying wax and pay after delivery was active. Um, I've had to be more mindful obviously due to money. So I saved for this purchase for a while because I wanted to get a bunch of stuff. There was a bunch of new stuff. There was a bunch of stuff I had not tried before from her that she just brought out. And I really was over fall. Um, the pre-order was, I believe it was September 8th and today is November 1st. So <clears throat> I... Dessa was one of the first orders I made. I would say she was the one of the first five vendors I ordered from. Um, and I really loved her wax from the get-go. Her wax performs very well. Her wax is beautiful. <coughs> and the scents are amazing. And I've got a cold. The weather keeps going back and forth from warm to cold. My daughter, it's November 1st. My daughter wore a tank top and shorts to school because it's going to be in the 70s by the time we pick her up. It's, it was 63 when I dropped them off at 7 o'clock this morning. So my allergies have been insane. So I'm stuffy. I'm, I got a cough. I'm just, I'm a mess. So <clears throat> um, so every time Dessa opened, I, I couldn't order. So now I'm going to be more mindful because she's only opening like every three, four months. to Because I think she said her next pre-order is January. I don't know if there's such a gap because of the holidays and she's not going to have time. Or if she, I don't think she usually goes three, four months in between. So I think it's because of the holidays. Cause I think she did one like every other month. Cause basically she would open for like a day or however many hours. I think she was open for like four hours this time because it was such a big uh, haul because it was, it was, the, it was her Christmas type melts too. So people wanted the Christmas melts. And she was only open for like four hours. I was at a birthday party <laughs> and I had to, I went to the bathroom to order because I didn't want to miss out. I was afraid it would close before I got home. I didn't want to be rude at the party. So I went in the bathroom and ordered. Um, that's how dedicated I am. So anyways, so I rambled for three minutes about um, a, a little pet peeve. It's not her fault. Dessa has become very big and she is a one woman show. She does everything on her own. It's not like she, she doesn't have a staff. She doesn't have anything like that. She is on her own. So I totally understand why she had to move to pre-orders only because she has gotten really popular. And I'm very, very happy because when I first started ordering from her, it seemed like she was more of a extremely underrated vendor. It seemed like at the time that I first ordered from her, I thought to myself, why is more people not ordering from this woman? Her stuff's amazing. And now over the last almost two years since I started ordering from her, it's taken way off. So I'm happy. I'm really happy for her. She deserves, she deserves this. So anyways, she does send samples, which I'm super appreciative of and super excited because there's some things that I, you know, want to try. So the first thing is called It's a Mystery. And basically this is just a mystery melt. It's probably over pores of one or two different scents. When I receive the items, I do write the date I receive them on the label. And then on the back, if I can, I put a label with the scent description, which this one does not have one because it's a mystery. You can tell it is two-toned. So I don't know what it is. Um, so I'm gonna melt it and find out. And then the next sample I got, and this is the most adorable thing. Look at this. I think it's a corn cob. My husband said, yeah, it looks like a corn cob. And this one is an orange kissed cupcake. 
And this one is fresh baked warm vanilla cupcake layered with orange cream filling with sweet cream frosting. So this, I had actually bought a scent shot of this scent before and it's amazing. It's kind of like an orange creamsicle and a cupcake. That's what I get. Um, it's a really good scent. That's going to be at least two melts, if not maybe three. That's on my list to get when she reopens. And then the next one is oatmeal cookies. And this is like a brittle piece or something. It's toasted oats, brown sugar, cinnamon topped with sweet, creamy icing. This one is okay. The cinnamon is really heavy. But I may be able to do it. So I'm going to see if I have something lying around I can tone that down with. Some like Marshmallow Noel or something. Alright, so those are the samples. I'm going to put this bag in the back in the bag. Alright, so I did get a few scent shots. I didn't get a ton of scent shots. Um, I had more on my list. I was trying to be good. So I did, but I did get... I got a couple favorites and I got a couple that I've never tried before. And I got a couple that... Um, were ones that were kind of Christmassy and I didn't want to stock too much Christmassy. I'm really trying to not, my winter, I went through my winter bin. Oh my God, you guys, if you haven't yet, go through your win and pull your winter wax. I forgot, it's been a minute since winter. I totally forgot how much winter I had. <laughs> I have no business buying any more winter. All right, so the first scent shot that I have is Pink Pillows. And this one is pink sugar, cotton candy frosting, fluffy marshmallow, and sweet peppermint candy. And her scent shots I quarter because her stuff is super strong. So I cut her scent shots in, in, in quarters. Um, usually for bedtime though, I usually do a half. So I, I may do a half for bed. I don't know yet. The next one is North Pole Bakery. And this one is blend of baked gingerbread loaded with molasses, rich buttery sugar cookie, and peppermint candy. These pens bleed so badly. Like, I, I'm, I'm a lefty, so I'm constantly writing over. My hand is usually dyed with whatever I'm writing. But anyways, so I'll write, and I'll write over it so it smears. It's ridiculous. And this one's kind of like a... That one's a hot pink, and this one's more of like a fuchsia. And this is good. I'm not sure what to think about this, though. I definitely get peppermint and um, gingerbread, so we'll see. The next one is Cold Winter's Night. This one's eucalyptus, juniper berries, subtle hints of fireplace, smoke, and Fraser fir. Now this one, I definitely get. I definitely get the juniper berries. I get the hint of the smoke, and I get the Fraser fir. This reminds me of one of the Walmart waxes that I used to buy a lot. I may have to compare it because I have I pulled all my Walmart clamshells. This smells exactly like one of the Walmart ones. I'm going to have to see because that's going to bother me. But that's amazing. I kind of wish I had gotten more of that one. But it's okay. There's always next year. Oh, God. I have so much winter stuff, you guys. <laughs> the next is Dreamland. This one's Marshmallow Fluff, Cotton Candy Frosting, Sweet Lavender, Refreshing Peppermint. And this one is definitely heavier. I smell, what do I smell? Hold on, I'm gonna take it out. The bottom usually smells stronger. I smell lavender and I smell cotton candy out of this. I was surprised the peppermint wasn't as strong. All right, the next one is blackberry jam sugar cookies. This one I've had before and I love. Fresh buttery sugar cookies topped with a dollop of sweet blackberry jam. I love the different colors she does. Mm, this one's so good. Mm, it is. It's just sweet sugar cookie with that sweet blackberry jam. I'm about to knock my coffee over. It, um, we, I live in Tennessee. It's Tighten Up Thursday. So medium iced coffees or hot coffees at Dunkin' Donuts are only a dollar on Thursdays. So I had to go. I was, I was, I was at Kroger getting some groceries and Dunkin' Donuts is on the way home. And so I had to stop. And the last one, this one made me cry. <laughs> it's Grandpa's Pipe. And this one's crushed tobacco leaves, dark cherry sweetened with vanilla. So here's a little, a little bit of history. So my grandfather died when I was 16. And my grandfather smoked a pipe for most of his adult life. Um, 
My mom said she doesn't even remember him smoking cigarettes much, but she thinks he did when he was younger. So here is, that's a picture of him. He's got the pipe hanging out of his mouth. Um, but anyways, almost every picture he has pipe hanging out of his mouth. So I had tried to find different vendors that had a, like a pipe smoke type scent because I love the way his house smelled. It smelled amazing. Um, and he liked the vanilla pipe tobacco. So when I got this and I smelled it, I, it, it's still making me a little teary eyed when I smell it. Cause it reminds me so much of him and he died 18 years ago. He died in 2000. So it's just been 18 years in early October. So this kind of, this, this just gives me happy memories of him, but it also makes me sad because, you know, he died when I was a teenager. So I didn't have a whole lot of time with him. And so I immediately, when I got this, went on the Facebook group and I, cause she added this as like the, one of the winter scents, I think. So I asked her, I said, is this going to be able to be available at your next pre-order? Because I have to stock up. Like this is something I'm going to have to have on hand all the time. Even if I don't melt it much, I want to be able to just smell it. Cause it smells exactly like, it smells exactly like his pipe tobacco. Cause he, like I said, he, he liked the vanilla and it just smelled so good. So she did say this was going to be on, in the regular lineup, I think. If you had a grandparent or somebody who used that vanilla pipe tobacco, smell this. It, it will bring, it will bring you to tears. All right. So then I got a whole bunch of random shapes. I, so I bought in bulk a few of my favorite scents. So the first one that I grabbed is Stormy Nights. And this one is reminiscent of the clean, brisk air after a rainstorm. I didn't put the whole scent description. It would take in two labels. So most of these, I just did the abbreviated what the keynotes were. And this is like the sweet shop shapes, I think she called them. So the little candy shapes. But this is such a nice, fresh scent. This is like airy and aquatic. And it does. It smells like the air after it's rain. It just is beautiful. So that's one that's going to be really nice for the bathroom. And then the next one that I grabbed is I got the donut shapes in winter solstice. And this one is a crisp, clean, refreshing blend of sweet peppermint infused with hints of sweet vanilla bean. This is going to be amazing in the winter. I'm really, I love twisted peppermint and I've noticed that the uh, peppermint with vanilla smells, I was going to say taste, oh my god, smells just like twisted peppermint and this smells very similar to just a plain twisted peppermint, which I love. So I wanted to get that in, in bulk. <clears throat> and the next thing is I have some of these mason jar shapes in Coffee House Cobbler. And this one is fresh brewed robust coffee blended with blueberry cobbler. Y'all know I couldn't have gotten <laughs> in order without a coffee scent. These are so cute. Look at these. And this is so good. I was kind of afraid of the blueberry cobbler mixed with it, but everybody who got their last pre-order back like August, September said how amazing that combo was. <clears throat> and the last of these shapes is coffee and donuts and it's more of the mason jars. And this is rich, robust, fresh brewed coffee blended with cinnamon glazed donuts. And this smells just like your like a cinnamon sugar donut with coffee. It's amazing. So finally, I got a few of her, what she call these, blender bars. The, they're the mini loaves, and you can pick, I think, two cents to blend. These are huge. I didn't, think, I didn't know how big these would be. The first one's blueberry lemon bars and marshmallow Noel. And this one, whoops, uh, blueberry cobbler and lemon bars collide. Uh, and then marshmallow vanilla bean noel and so this one the blueberry lemon bars is the overpour and then the marshmallow noel is the chunks look how huge this is these are like six ounces or something I don't remember I'm gonna wait I have my scale right here let me weigh one real quick about five and a half so these are about roughly five and a half ounces uh, but these are huge. I mean, I'm, I, I usually melt like a half ounce at a time. So I will definitely get a lot of uses out of one of these bars. All right. The next, I'm not going to take them all out because they're messy. The next one's lemon shortbread and marshmallow Noel. 
And this one's sweet shortbread and sweet or churned sweet cream butter with lemon zest, powdered sugar, and then the marshmallow vanilla bean noel. And this one smells like an iced lemon cookie. Oh yeah, he found the empty box, so now it's all over. Mm. It it does. It kind of smells like one of those like I think she's got one of I think she's got like an iced lemon cookie or something like that, and that's what it kind of smells like to me. All right, the next one is blueberry cobbler and zucchini noel. And this one's uh, lightly sugar blueberries layered with a crunchy buttery topping and zucchini vanilla bean noel. And some of these I stole from people, <laughs> and a couple of these I kind of thought of on my own. Mm, this one's really good. That blueberry cobbler is really good. And the last one, this one's going in my winter box, candy cane snowball cookies and marshmallow Noel. Everybody swears by these candy cane snowball cookies. People are getting plain loaves in them. And it's buttery sweet shortbread cookies dipped in a vanilla glaze rolled in cotton or yeah, cotton candy bits. No, not candy cane bits, not cotton candy. Candy cane bits, marshmallow, vanilla bean noel. I knew that it didn't sound right when I said it because it's a peppermint one. And this is amazing. This is a peppermint cookie. Yeah, that is loaf worthy. That's one I'm going to have to grab a loaf of at the next order. So, so that is my Dessus haul. I've been anticipating this for almost two months. The minute I ordered, I was like, yay, I can't wait to get it. And so she is doing a, I think it's a winter sampler in a couple weeks. I think it's the 17th of um, November because it's the day after my daughter's birthday. And so it's a, it's a little sampler, I'll hold you over. And then I think she said her next pre-order is going to be in January. And you can bet I'm going to be saving up between now and then because I, I have a list. I've already been making a list and now my list after smelling these is even longer. Um, now her stuff performs very, very well for me. I can get by. Her stuff is a big, little goes a long way. Um, if I, I can melt a quarter of a cent shot, I can melt like a half ounce and it's perfect. It's, it throws wonderfully. So, um, this stuff will last me quite a while. So anyways, that is everything. And I hope y'all had a great time watching and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.